Last year, I painted 100 illustrations in 100 days. That was only possible because I developed a very quick and efficient process that allowed me to make a painting like this in less than one hour. So today I'll show you exactly what that method is, so you can also make paintings really quickly. Just a quick disclaimer, I don't think everything in art needs to be done quickly. In fact, a lot of things don't. You should take your time, take your time crafting your artwork, but sometimes it's just useful to know how to do things quickly. It's better that you know how to do it quickly and choose not to than you're slow because you just don't know how to be more efficient. So that being said, let's see how to be fast. The first thing that I do to make my process so ultra fast is that I make really ugly, really loose sketches. The sketch in my process only fulfills the purpose of getting the proportions correct. I don't really worry about adding details, I'm not gonna draw the eye and add the iris and the pupil and every single eyelash, that doesn't matter at all. This sketch is not going to the final image, so it should be loose, it should be quick, it should just get this problem, which is the proportion, out of the way. If I just solve this, then the sketch did its purpose. This ugly sketch here works really well because you can see clearly where are the eyes, the nose, the mouth, what are the face angles and the hair size, everything is already decided. Now, you won't be able to go from this to this if you don't really know how to draw yet. This ugly sketch works because the proportions are correct. If I had done a quick and wrong sketch, what would be the purpose? The sketch is the foundation of the painting, so you need to do your best with it. That may seem contradictory, but what I mean is, if you're still learning how to draw, take the time you need to get the proportions correct. You should not haste it and make something wrong that's gonna be much harder or impossible to fix later. Would make you waste even more time. But if you already know pretty much what you're doing, then you don't need to spend a lot of time on the sketch. The second technique I use to make everything so fast is called the lasso feel, and it's uh, my favorite digital tool ever. <laughs> it is so good, guys, you have no idea. It makes everything so efficient, so good. You're gonna love using it as well. You can find it on Clip Studio. It's like it's also on Procreate, and you can find a version for Photoshop. So, what does the lasso feel does? What it does is that you make a selection, and when the selection is complete, it's gonna color it, like an auto-fill bucket. It's amazing. <laughs> Let's compare the time it takes me to fill one face with the brush versus using the lasso fill. All right, you know now, the last of you makes everything incredibly fast, but I have yet another argument in its favor. It took me a total of 25 minutes to get to this stage here on this painting. And it took me only 16 minutes to try all these different light setups on this painting. So give it a try. You're gonna see your life will be so much easier and so much better. Just, you're gonna thank me later. Another way I made my process streamlined was when I created a checklist for the lights I should place on a painting. Because it's pretty hard sometimes when you're still learning to remember all the lights that exist, well actually just like the effects of light. So I had this checklist, I would every time make sure I was following it so I wouldn't forget anything. In case you're curious, here's the checklist. Base shading, secondary shading, highlight, reflective light, ambient light, subsurface scattering, and glow. Sometimes there are more or less of than these, but this is like the basic structure of light. I almost always apply them in this specific order, but this might change depending on the piece. Oh, if you want to learn more about my process, 
then you can join my Patreon and you get exclusive tutorials, step by steps and more, and the links in the description. I also started being much more efficient once I mastered a handful of layer modes. Layer modes are not cheating, don't even get me started on that, that's just dumb. <laughs> if you have a tool, you can use it, period. Now, here are my preferred layer modes that I use on almost every single painting. Multiply, Add Glow, Glow Dodge, and Overlay. Almost always I'm gonna use these. I also occasionally use Soft Light, Hard Light, Screen, and I don't know, a few others. But if you learn to use just a handful of layer modes, you can learn them one by one, and little by little your process will be much, much quicker. The reason why they make your life so much easier and quicker is because they remove the thinking process from you, from having to add colors and values and just figure out on your own how the light will interact. And two, it becomes much, much easier to make changes on an entire layer of shading, for example, than if you're using normal layers. Now, this one here, no one gives a shit about it, and it's the most important, I'm gonna defend it like till I die, and I'm gonna drill it until you have it in your mind. And it is that you need to name your layers. Seriously, look at me. You need to name your layers. Enough wasting time trying to figure out where is the shading, where is the subsurface scattering, where did you paint that blouse? Why would you do that to yourself? Just name your layers and everything will be so much easier and you're gonna take a deep breath and feel so relieved so you can thank me later since we're talking about layers there's yet another thing you can do with them to make your process much faster and that is to merge the layers calm down hear me out how i like to work is i will make a separate layer for each type of light and type of shadow and then when everything is pretty much set up i merge them and then I can render much more easily like this. Because if I want to blend, how am I gonna blend if it's each one in a different layer? That, ugh, it's, no. That's too overwhelming, too tiring. We don't need to put ourselves through this experience. No. But before you just go merging your layers and like crazy, here's a word of caution. Save your separate layers in a folder as a backup. This is gonna make your life much, much easier because if you make a mistake, you can always go back and go back to a previous state. That's also, I always have multiple versions of the merged layers because when I know I'm gonna make a big change, I wanna have a backup in case it doesn't work. That's very important because you need to avoid destructive editing of your art. 